It's looking like that will be, in fact, be the case. Nothing. There is a rat infestation, but let's see how this ends up shaking out. Oh. <laughs> yep, so here comes the double Pika Ditto. And oh, what a snipe right there. So we already saw that KD3 and CVG, they did a great job taking out Wario and Kuraba. But uh, at the moment, they have to now face off against this double Pika team with Alvin and Joshi, two, you know, very famous names in the scene. Everybody who's here knows of the caliber of these players. I mean, here in the later stage of the bracket, you need to, every single player needs to be at the top of their game. And right now, it's looking like red team is maybe just at that peak a little bit higher. Okay. Oh, that was so good. Uses the upper to help out the teammate in order to get him back on stage. It's kind of only for so long, though, as... Oh, oh this, is, this is such an interesting sort of dynamic to have with... Blue team is up in terms of stocks, but both of them are extremely high percent and off stage. I don't know if... Yeah, both of them dropping right there. That's a clean stock up for the red team right now. But, all right, blue team has the positioning. This is what they usually like to have. But what a beautiful grab. And grabs are so useful in doubles because of the ability to reposition. Get them out of that uh, sort of... Just uh, the sort of layout that they really want to be in. Oh, but blue team, this is where the clockwork just starts. The machinations at work. And you can see that also because they can't grab the ledge. They One of them has to go high. And blue team anticipates that. Man, that was like just a solid minute of absolute stage control for uh, KD3 and Stevie G. Still living though, but both blue team once again at high percent. This is reminding me of exactly what happened before. Except now they're even less up. Oh no, he has to go to the ledge. Okay, his teammate is there to help him get back onto the stage. Oh, and that up B getting nowhere near enough. This is actually such a dangerous position for blue team. They're both at one stock, and Alan and Joshi just seem to be... <laughs> I mean, they're just... Oh, they're running them over right now, putting on a master class of how to dissect two rodents. Oh, uh, yeah, this is, things are looking pretty grim. I mean, able to take both those stocks, very cool, but this is DBG against the world right now, or at the very least against the country of Peru, as chat is leading me to believe at the very least. Never mind. Oh, she's not from Peru at all. Yeah, there you go. Hey. Man, as an aside, I can't wait for the 64 combo contest to be so overinflated that we end up having to do double combo contests, like teammate stuff. That's going to be, oh my god. Once we get to that level, Prince and Tacos teaming up, that sounds almost, I don't even know what's going to happen at that point. Anyway, that is going to be game one for Alvin and Joshi. All right, yeah, it seems like the characters are yeah, exactly what it was before. We are keeping up with the uh, with the high rodent density. You know, we've got more rats than we do platforms on this stage right now.
Okay. I, okay. I actually, I feel like I saw blue team do this before. The way that they're right next to each other. Oh, okay. I was going to say, before they were right next to each other working seamlessly. But right now, we're actually seeing a little bit of these uh, friendly fire, which, considering just how tight everything has to be right now, any t bit of when you hit your teammate, it could have devastating consequences. Okay, but blue team looking really, you know, I was maybe questioning them at first. Ooh, okay, yeah, but regardless, Stevie G is surviving. And last game, I believe Stevie G was, no, he wasn't the stock tank. He was the last one alive, but he actually lost a bunch of stocks really early. So I think right now he's trying to reverse that just a little bit, holding on to this stock for dear life. All right, red team with a fantastic position. Like, oh my god, what do we even do at that point? When you and your teammate are off stage on opposite ends, just all you can do is longingly cry out to them as you watch them die on the other side. Oh, well, now we actually... What was... I feel like blue team... Uh, that was uh, Stevie G just, like, teleported right into it. All right, but... This is actually a good position. I feel like blue team is gaining footing and then losing it. And gaining it again and losing it. It's just such a pull and push. Red team snatching that control away. But right now, it seems like blue team just has that tiny bit of edge. Right as I say that, he does actually die. Meaning that the stock count is now evened up with that tiny bit of percent advantage for, uh, for the red team. And you know, one interesting thing about doubles versus singles is that, I mean... Obviously, percent always matters, but in 64, a game where you can combo anybody to death for, like, almost any point, uh, percent instead really seems to be impactful because the more your percent they have, the further they get knocked off stage, and that leaves their partner just alone and stranded. I can't believe he survived that up smash, but I don't know if he's going to survive that one. Yeah, he tried to save him, but gets eaten by the back air anyway. Oh, he wants to get this edge guard. Everybody's off stage at the same time, and that's actually going to be evening up the stock count. Man, the floor was lava for a second right there. Oh, red team with a little bit of a 2v1. I do kind of, I think it's interesting that they get in these 2v1 situations and instead will sort of cut it short in order to finish off the edge guard. I think that speaks to sort of what their game plan is, what they think is going to be really effective here. And I mean, definitely is working out. Blue team, you know, they seemed like they were in such a good spot and now all of a sudden this is about to be a 2v1. It's about to be a 0v2. Both of them dying at almost the exact same time. Wow. That's another game for Alvin and Joshi. You know, we had an amazing run from KD3 and Stevie G, but it's looking like it might come crashing down here. All right, and here it is, game three. Possibly the end of the line for KD3 and Stevie G. Okay, oh, whoa, but blue team, hold on a second. Hitting both of them back and forth. This is looking pretty decent at the moment. And I'm pretty sure that uh, Alvin might be, a, depending on positioning, might die from a grab. Oh, but he gets that kill! Gorgeous right there. Blue team needs to take at least one of these stocks right now, and they're both surviving! And the up B dodging the grab. This should be it, though. Yep, forward throw right there is going to do it. But the survivability from Joshi, he's... This, oh, okay. Oh, I love that, actually. Realized he was dead. Up, he's right into the blast zone. Doesn't want to leave his teammate stranded when he knows he's already a goner. Really smart. And look at that. Oh, the weight, the delay on that neutral air from, uh, from Joshi. Oh, man. Like, the stock count is tied, but 
DBG at really high percent. Four stocks, though. He is stock tanking really effectively at the moment. Joshi. All right, I apologize for the mispronunciation on Joshi. All right, but yeah, Alvin and Joshi looking so good. It felt like maybe KD3 and CVG figured something out. So is it Joshi or jo Joshi? Anyway. <laughs> okay, all right. Anyway, moving back to this game, which is all of a sudden, hmm, not the worst thing in the world for blue team. It's actually four stocks apiece. What was looking like it was going to... I, <laughs> I'm just going to... I'm hearing too many conflicting accounts on how to pronounce Joshi's name, so I'm just going to call him... I'm going to call him Yoshi, just to spite everybody. Uh, oh, man. Oh, just barely missing the ledge right there. He's going to stock share, so things are, you know... Still alive. I can't. I can't deal with. This. I'm calling him Joshi. I don't care. Anyway. Oh, both of them surviving, but only by the skin of their teeth. The both of them at high percents. Oh no! Jump off stage. He's gonna continue this. His teammate is there to help, but he's not able to make it back. That's actually a pivotal stock loss. If they manage to take Joshi out right here. Okay, if they meant to take Joshi out right here, then, uh, yeah, even game. Oh, this is still very doable for blue team. Oh, but maybe not when he gets comboed all the way. Saved his jump really smart, and that means he gets back, and I don't even know what happened. Joshi died out of nowhere. This is a 2v1 situation. No, it's a 1v1. Oh, so much is on the line for KD3. He has the percent lead, but, I mean, Alvin is such a good player. Oh, you're going to see immense patience right now. Not only do they have to worry about their own loss, but their teammate is breathing over their shoulder. <gasps> Blue team has worked so hard not only to get here in the tournament, but also to make this game as close as it is. Okay, that's a big forward air and into the back throw. That's going to do it. We have a game on the board for KD3 and Stevie G. Fantastic patience. Oh, it's so cool when you actually have a doubles game that ends with that singles just moment of tension. Oof. Now the question is whether that was a fluke or whether that is sort of the changing tides. As we move into this next game, we'll see if KD3 and CBG will maintain that momentum or whether they're going to <laughs> end up falling at third place. They haven't, I don't think they've had their chance to face off against uh, Isaiah and Tacos, who I believe are in winners. Oh, keeping, <laughs> keeping Alvin trapped in the corner like that means that blue team's been playing pretty all right with themselves. <gasps> oh, but a quick 2v1 combo. Man, right now we're just sort of nickel and diming each other. We haven't seen any explosive plays just quite yet. It's, But we're seeing that that can be kind of difficult when Pikachu has an invincible upbeat in doubles especially. Just gets him out of those really scary situations. All right, and here it comes. That's the first stock down. Hold on, blue team. What do you have cooking right here? Ow, but that's going to be oh, a sock dropped. Okay. Yeah, Joshi Ham holding on to the stock for dear life right now. Oh, is he going to be okay? And we still have Stevie G surviving. Oh, what was that? And stocks just dropping left and right, yet somehow this is a completely even game. Yeah, KD3 has to be a little bit more careful, you know. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, that's going to be death. Oh, but the yuppie doesn't bring him back. Oh, and that was really bad because that was CVG who lost that. He was the one at lower percent. All right, yeah, stocks are even, but because it was CVG who died right there, at any moment, KD3 could just evaporate. 
Oh, he tried to save his teammate, but no, the back, the down air was actually what killed him in the end anyway. All right, this is not the worst position in the world. I feel like I say that a lot, but it's always true, especially in 64 doubles where anything can happen. An instant trading grabs back and forth, but the upbeat to break the cycle. It's actually looking, <laughs> this is so tight. <laughs> Every one of these games all of a sudden is neck and neck. The adaptations from KD3 and Steve EG have been so good. Alvin and Joshi have been struggling to get that same dominance that they had once upon a time. Just up being to the ledge over and over again. Yeah, stall it out. Wait for your teammate to come back and help you just a little bit. Oh, this is huge. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. Both of them are off stage. This is terrible. We've seen this before. But he snags the ledge, and he manages to use that neutral air to help his teammate out. That was so good. Oh, and blue team, if they can close the stock out. Oh, and they do. Hold on a second. Three stocks to two. And if Stevie G can stay alive right now, that would be big. This clutch factor right now. Blue team staying alive. They just need to get damage right now. They need to preserve their stocks as much as possible. Oh, I think that's going to be one down. Oh, is that going to be? Oh, he's off stage. And he's gone. Done for. Now we have to deal with the 2v1. Alvin is at decently high percent, though. Oh, no. This could be the end. Okay, getting little hits here and there, but you can't get one of those big combos when there's a teammate just waiting in the wings. <gasps> oh, big edge guard possibilities. At the very least, oh, I don't know. He's all out there. One of them grabbing ledge, the other one grabbing the stage, and that's not it quite yet, but look at that. Yeah, just the coverage, the excellence. As soon as it became that 2v1, Kind of not much that could happen. We have a fantastic stuff. KD3 managing to take that game and keeping that game for so freaking even. But in the end, not quite enough to be able to take the entire, uh, make the run a reality. And so 